welcome to Budget Audio Review and Upgrades. Today is a review and I'll be talking about this ADC graphic equaliser, it's the SS115. It's, it's about any graphic equaliser really. Now first of all, I will apologise to any pure audio that Me mentioning the word graphic equaliser is going to be a big no-no. It's like I'm swearing at them, seriously. Most people, like most of these audio that would even have the bass and treble on their equipment like it's just be a pure you know in and out so to speak into the it may be a preamp and an amp as well two different uh, units but for where i am at the moment on the channel and for a lot of people this this may come in handy like you know what i mean this, this may be well handy for trying to match your speakers up tuning more to the exact sound you want i mean the amplifier you've got at the moment you may not quite you know you start turning the treble up or something it's, it's, it's putting different frequencies and not quite it doesn't sound right turning the bass up or down is not getting what you want exactly you just want to fine tune it a bit more uh, yeah, for instance I mean if you turn the bass down you're not just turning the bass frequencies down you, you're grabbing frequencies from nearby into that quite you know it's coming down as like that kind of thing where you're dragging the bass here but it's also putting from up there that curve is putting in the other frequencies as well it's not just putting dead on the you know the kind of frequency maybe you're aiming for even though this isn't going to put like you know it, probably that exact it's going to be very very close in. it could be a lot closer that 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 rather than having like that so to speak where you're putting all these other frequencies in you're going to be quite close you know what I mean you're going to be very you're going to narrow it right down so to speak obviously the more the more pans you've got you know you're going to probably if you had enough bands you're probably going to start it in the spot on kind of thing but just talking about a 10 band one here you can get seven bands eight bands and up to 31 and probably even bigger but you know there's a general kind of thing that we're looking at. We'll call it a 10 band here today. This is the one I've got. I used to have a graphic equaliser many, many years ago when I first got into hi fi. This would have been about 1979 80. It was a JVC SEA 80. And here's a picture of it here. And this was a, a graphic equaliser with a built in spectrum analyzer, which um, I paid about £300, which would have been about $500 probably back then with the exchange rate. And um, yeah, it was a good little, you know, it done the job okay, but I was a bit disappointed with the spectrum analyzer. So, you know, some people may like a bit more of a, you know, a bit, I'm not say gimmick, but a bit more flashy thing or lights and bars moving up and down. May may like that a bit more than just a plain graphic equalizing you're seeing here. When I say this is plain, it's, it is a little bit more than plain because it's got the little LEDs on the end of the, uh, of the sliders. And it's also got a little VU meters here as well. In fact, if I start straightening them up a bit, I've been mucking about a bit before <laughs> I've done the video. Um, why would you want one of these in your system? Well, like I say, you can you can fine tune, you know, exactly how you like the music. You know, you, you, you may have to start tuning it in there for different tracks or whatever, I don't know. But, you know, you may be just a fine tune, but what it will fine tune is speakers and that. You know, if your amp's not quite matched with the speaker, if your speaker's a bit too bright for your amplifier or something like that, rather than turning the treble down or not having it so high, and like I say, dragging these other frequencies, you can actually pick, you either can narrow it down to the, the frequencies that you want to get rid of. And the little tip is also, is when you're trying to get, say you want to boost up the treble, you wanted to boost it up, it's not always, you don't always have to push the treble control in the upward direction. You can leave the treble control where it is and just bring the frequencies down either side of it, just a, a, a couple of dB or something, just muck about with that, because that does that does work as well, you know, it gives just a slightly different sound as well, you may not get exactly where you want by going up, where you can pull frequencies nearby down, and just making that frequency you want a little bit more clearer that way, so you know, there's two ways of doing it, you can either go up with that, or pull the two side, you know, one's nearby down as well, so just something to bear in mind, don't always go up in the up direction. Uh, for instance, I'm going to give you just a couple of instances where you'd use this. Just two instances here. Uh, by the way, I will come back with a video of actually going inside where I cleaned it up and everything. And maybe, you know, just to talk about a bit more, you know, what, what's involved with it, maybe. Um, because, like I say, there, there is more switches involved here. You know, a lot of these, like, pure auto fire, this won't want any more switches getting in the way of the signal. You know what I mean? They want it a direct cut as possible. They have their speakers... They may have gone through good knows how many speakers to get the ones exactly they want and the same with the amplifiers so, so they match up because not all speakers and amps are going to match up nicely you're going to get a bright amp and if you put them with bright speakers it's going to be too overbearingly bright like you would be you want to try and balance them up bright amp with a bit of duller speakers and stuff like that like if you start putting too bright too bright it's going to be over bright so to speak but just two instances here 
uh, there's a thing called sibilus apparently this is what it's called it's when when people talk or sing and you've got this like the s and the like snake or s on the end of it like you know a bit too much you can get on your nerves sometimes i've been mucking about a little bit with this and i found if i bring this and it's not a lot because here it is set up here and i've been using this receiver here but i've used it with other receivers and, and fine whatever but i'll just give you an example of this particular receiver here is that just to get rid of you know it's got that kind of is to it a little bit to get rid of it it doesn't get rid of it all don't get me wrong it does, does suddenly disappear but it brings it down to a more manageable and nicer level i've just knocked down the 8k uh setting here i've just brought it down one little notch which is these these go from naught to from the middle naught to 15 and to minus 15 and one little notch i think if i just get me in the way of everything is 5 db so it's just 5 5 db so i brought it down one third basically on both channels I did this and that you know I say it tamed it it made it nicer it tamed it and I didn't lose out anywhere else to be honest with you know I felt everywhere else sounded okay and I lost everything it sounded okay and just that little notch made it just nicer to listen to I did a little video earlier um, a few weeks ago where I think now about the Mission 74 speakers the floor standards and, and a lot of floor standards can sound very basic I know you can get spikes you can get special cups from them and all different things you can mount them slate all that kind of stuff obviously bring them away from the wall put the bungs in all, all different things to get rid of that too much bassiness of, of the speaker they can be very bassy to a stage where it's giving you an headache so to speak and a bit like these cars with the bass speaker are farting about in the in the back kind of that kind of thing i took this downstairs you know i say a few amps in there and i found that you know this this, this end frequency is 31.5 and i'm not too sure if the speakers go down that low because it didn't really make much of a difference at all but anyway i brought it down on both sides like this and i actually brought this with what i did instead of having the speakers about two or three foot away from each wall which i had before with the bungs in and it kind of got rid of that bass in there so i actually put them near the wall where you could really hear the bass I brought this in one down, like I say, the 31.5, and also brought the 63 hertz down as well. I didn't bring it all the way down, I brought it down to minus 10. Generally speaking, like different amps with slightly different numbers, but generally speaking. And that got rid of that and made it more pleasant. And plus, you know, that gives it, having that bass there made it a bit the sound muddy and muffled a bit as well, because obviously it's interfering with the other frequencies and whatever. And bringing that down did, did open it up a bit and made it more clearer as, you know, as well. So. That's another instance where you may have a speakers that are too bassy that you know you can you can control it more rather than just turning that bass down uh, two or three notches or whatever and bringing putting these other frequencies nearby in as well you know big big pulling so to speak rather than maybe just a very narrow pulling and so you're still keeping the other frequencies nearby so there's, there's just a couple of instances where you probably get some use out of this. Uh, graphic equaliser like I say it's got little bars in here I mean some people may prefer the old analogue meters like this bouncing about but if you really know like the digital uh, you, you know you can have the digital ones bobbing up and down as well just give a little bit more of a, a, you know, a graphic look to it so to speak you know, or, you know a visual look shall I say and these look quite nice these are red LEDs lit up as well not might be for everyone but um, that looks quite smart especially if you've got it in the dark as well that looks pretty good as well okay I will come back with another video. Like I said, we're going to have a look inside. We're going to show you how to connect it up to your amp, the tape recorder, etc., and, and how to put it in a few different ways in your uh, setup to uh, you know give it a try and whatever. But uh, there it is. I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Uh, this graphic equalizer, amongst this, there's obviously hundreds and hundreds to choose from. A lot of second hand ones, basically. I think you're looking at a second hand one. There's a few new ones I see. Uh, cheap ones, forty pound, forty five pound. I think Tecmo actually did a review on one a while back. Uh, from China and they're, they're a load of rubbish you want you, the, the, the graphic on the front this graphic spectra analyzer was rubbish it didn't really do a lot it was slow and it, it was rubbish and you want one where you've got a fair bit of movement here as well you know so you've got a bit more control you don't want a little down here like you've got that much to play with so you're kind of going finely cheap hardly movement at all you want a bit of you want a bit of movement there so you know when you bring it you've got quite a bit of control in the sound or you're forever going up and down trying to get it in the right position because it's so tiny as well so yeah you're gonna for a second hand one we're, we're guessing here a little bit i reckon you know we'll be far out between 60 and 100 pounds 60 100 dollars 120 dollars something like that you're going to get yourself a reasonable second hand one like i say do a video uh shortly of uh, you will want to need to give it a clean because most of these get dirty and dusty and when you start moving them you kind of get all that scratching sound and everything which ain't great and you end up tapping them trying to get the 
the thing to work, so to speak. Okay, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching and see you all soon.